Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's Not Just Christmas in July video. Today I am going to use these somewhat miscellaneous items and create a Christmas card for you. But do stick around to the end of the video because I'll be sharing some non-Christmas cards made using the same design ideas. I do apologise for the noise in the background. <laughs> the starlings that nest in our eaves have fledged and their babies are currently sitting on the bird feeder screaming their heads off so uh, if it does get too noisy I'll switch to voiceover but we'll see how it goes so I've got here some brown paper packaging that came with something we ordered recently and I kept it because I really liked it it's got this zigzaggy embossing on it and I thought it'd be great to use on the front of a card so that's what I'm going to do today so I'll just take a little bit and I'll take my torn edged ruler and use this to tear a rectangular shape or a square sort of squarey rectangular and it's going to sit on my card front about there. There are two sides to this. One is slightly a richer brown than the other and I'm going to use that side. And next I'm going to tear a rectangle from smooth white cardstock. I want it to be a bit skinnier and a bit longer than the brown paper one. Now when you tear a bit of paper you always get kind of two sides this has got much rougher edges and this has got less rough edges and I like both sides but for this card I'm going to use the less rough edges and this is going to sit under here like that so it's all about the layering but before I stick those down I want to add some twine to my card this is just red and white baker's or butcher's twine and I think it's quite Christmassy. On the back of the panel, I'm going to add a couple of lines of tape runner. You could use double sided tape or glue or glue dots, whatever works for you. And use that to anchor this as I wrap it round. I think I'm only going to go round twice. Now that's done, I'm going to add some more tape runner to the back of this panel and adhere it to my card blank. And it's not going to have any border. You could add a border if you wanted, but today I thought I would go borderless. So I've added a bit of glue to the back of this white strip of card and I've slipped it underneath the string. For this one, I want it to go over the string, so I'm going to use some foam tape so that it can straddle the string. This card might be a bit thick to go through the mail as a regular letter. It might need to go as a large letter, but I'll probably just give it to someone who lives near me and slip it through the letterbox so it won't need to go in the mail. Now I want to create a focal point. So I've got a sticky note here and I've stuck two star dies down to it and I'm trying to make sure that the gap between the two cutting edges is equal all the way around. So there we have a star frame, a bit too much glue there. It's a very warm day today so my glue is trying to ooze out of the glue bottle and I'm going to put this on here so the tips of the star are sort of level with the string. For my sentiment, I'm going to cut a star to go in the middle of the star and I'm going to do it out of vellum. But before I cut the star, I'm going to put some double sided adhesive on the back of the vellum, which will make it easier to stick down. You won't be able to see the adhesive through it. So I'll just put that on there so it's easier for you to see. And now I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment in gold. So I've dusted my vellum with cornstarch or corn flour. You can use talcum powder or an anti-static powder tool. And I've got a sentiment here that says with love, I'm going to stamp it in embossing ink and get it in the middle of my star. I'm going to put my head right over so I'll cut that bit out for you. 
So I'm going to heat this, but I'm going to do it quite carefully because I don't want to warp the vellum and I don't want to melt the adhesive on the back. So I'm going to get this good and hot, hold that down and just waft it over and stop as soon as the embossing powder is melted. So that's melted and cooled. I've taken the release paper off and now I'm just going to pop that in there like that. So now we've got a nice shiny with love sentiment. And as a finishing touch, I'm going to add some gold Nouveau drops just in two clusters of three in a bit of a diagonal. Right, as promised, I've got some non-Christmas cards coming up that I made using the same ideas as this one. For this card, instead of Butcher's Twine, I used this twine. I think it's from Violet Studio and I got it at Hobbycraft when I got my mini enamel dots and pastel ribbons. And it's a kind of pastel creamy yellow. So I put two bits around the card, just like I did on the star card. I layered on some torn white paper and on top of that I layered on some paper that I had coloured with bundled sage distress oxide and run through an embossing folder. I then die cut this flower out of gold glitter cardstock and layered it on its vellum shadow. But instead of incorporating the sentiment into the focal point, I put it over here and stamped best wishes. So this is a best wishes card and we've got the Nouveau drops as well. I've just noticed that I've lost a bit of gold glitter there. So when that happens, if I can't recut it, I mean I could recut it and stick it on top and make it two layers thick, but quite often I just use this gold jelly roll pen and draw over the bit that's missing and it looks fine. But I'll just show you how I made that green bit of paper. I'm using cracked pistachio instead of bundled sage and all I did was colour a piece of smooth white cardstock. I then got my torn edge ruler and tore the edges to create a squarish shape just like I did with the brown corrugated paper. For some of my cards, I did it this way up so I didn't have any white around the edge. And for some of the cards, I tore it the other way up so I got the raggedy edge. And then all I did was pop that in an embossing folder and run it through my cuttle bag. There you have a bit of textured paper, just like the corrugated paper. You could always use brown if you wanted to make your own sort of corrugated or faux corrugated paper like that. Walnut stain or vintage photo would work well. For this second card, I wrapped gold thread around and created a fairly wide band. Added that white torn panel and I coloured this with worn lipstick and used an embossing folder again. This one's got some words on it. I didn't incorporate any vellum into this one because I felt if I put vellum inside that big heart, you'd lose a lot of the detail on this pink panel. So I just stuck this heart down with its little heart there, added a love you and some gold Nouveau drops. And for this card, I used some more twine from the same pack as this. This one's a bit of a pastel orange. And I coloured my card with dried marigold and again ran it through with an embossing folder. I think I used a striped one for this one, so it looks quite corrugated. And then I cut two die cuts, one in white and one in gold glitter, layered them one on top of the other and popped them on. I've got a just saying a sentiment there and some gold Nouveau drops. And on to the last card now. For the thread, I used silver thread and wound it round the panel. Popped on the torn white panel. This one I coloured with Uncharted Mariner and embossed with a kind of bubble wrap style embossing folder. I did actually put a bit of gilding wax on there to bring out the pattern a bit. And then because I'd used silver here, I die cut a butterfly from silver and backed its wings with vellum and gave it a white body to bring some of the white to the front and the sentiment just says hello and I stamped that in the same colour. 
So that is one Christmas card and four not Christmas cards made using the same design idea, the same kind of tools and supplies. I hope it's given you some ideas of cards you can make with the things that you've got in your stash for the occasions that you need to make them for. If it has, please let me know in the comments, like and subscribe, ring the notification bell and I will see you back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.